What's up, everybody? Welcome to Buzzworthy TV. It's I'm your girl, Lady T. So, I just wanted to come in here and just give you my unfiltered opinion on the BET Awards. Y'all know I usually don't do recaps of these award shows, but I just had a couple things I just had to get off my chest. Okay, so to be honest, the first hour and a half of this show was to me, okay? I'm just sick and tired of all these artists singing to backing tracks. It was like nobody was singing live and it was irritating me. First, you know, we had my boy Trey Songz, who I love. He came on there, did whatever he do, but I'm just like, He's singing to a backing track. A lot of people was talking about his vocals. And I'm like, how can y'all critique his vocals when he was basically lip syncing? So I can't even say anything about his vocals being off or not. I'm just like, whoa, okay. Then Chris Brown. Chris Brown looked better than ever. He looked healthy or whatnot. But again, singing to a backing track. But. I can deal with him because even though he lip synced, he danced his butt off. He he gave us performance, honey. Okay, but I was still like, mm, nobody really giving me no vocals. And then the Migos, I mean, I like them. See, all these people I'm talking about, it's not that I don't like them. It's just like I come from the old school where even if you are a performer. You know how to still give vocals. Even Janet. Like, she's not the best singer. But if you ever went to a Janet Jackson concert back in the day, she would give you vocals. You would hear her breathing intermittently. Now, yes, yeah, sometimes she would do, she would lip sync, of course. But no matter what, let's say if she was having an off night and she lip synced all her dance songs, she would have a part in her show. Where she just sit down and just give you vocals. So this new generation, it just kind of throws me off that don't nobody sing live. Ever, you know, it's just like the Migos. I like them. I like Bad and Bougie. But I'm like, I could have watched this. I could have listened to this on the radio. All this stuff I could have seen on the radio. Because... That's all y'all gave me. Y'all didn't give me nothing spectacular. Like I said, Chris Brown... I did like his dancing, so he get a little bit of a pass for that. But the first hour and a half, I was just like, it didn't really start getting good till Mary J came down. And let me tell you why. Because Mary J was serving the children, okay? Last night with her outfit and her uh, post-divorce uh, body, okay? Like, she is giving you all sorts of slay itch. So, before she could even sing a note, I was here for her, okay? And I love You Plus Me. And that new song, uh, Love Yourself. I don't know. I think it's Love Yourself. or I don't know what the second song she sung. But I like that, too. Um, it was not her best performance. I mean, I've seen her live. And I've seen her do better on award shows in general. It wasn't her best, but she just slayed and she still gave me some vocals. So, to me, the award show started to look up. So, I was there for it. And I like um, the guy that she brought out. He was cool, but this is where you could start to see that they were having a whole lot of technical difficulties. Like, BT, I'm going to need y'all to get y'all messed together, okay? Because the mics were either too loud or you couldn't hear them. They sounded far away. And same thing about the guy that came on to perform with Mary J. Blige. He had a backing track, which I don't understand why rappers have backing tracks. Like, where they do that at? You're a rapper. Why do you need a backing track? And if you're a rapper, why you got to use auto-tune? See, that's another thing that I didn't like. Like, yesterday, I saw people using auto-tune mics. And you're supposed to be a rapper. What? 
And same thing with this guy that performed with Mary J. Blige. She was performing with a backing track. But when he was supposed to come in with his vocals, you could hardly hear him. So I'm just like, <sighs> but it did start to look up from that point on. I like uh, Khalib, 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 yeah, him. He was good. I really liked him. And then after that, after that, ladies and gentlemen, that's when we got my girls. The moment that a lot of us have been waiting for. Escape. When I tell y'all, they didn't come to play with y'all hoes. Okay. They did not come to play. Now, I have some things to say about this though. They all looked beautiful. Now, some of the wardrobe choices I could have done without, but I'm talking about as far as just looking good, their hair, their makeup, like they were slaying. You can't deny that. Now, as far as the performance, I want to start off by giving all props. And let me tell y'all who shined out of all this. My girl, Tiny. Tiny is come back and trying to show y'all, look, I'm more than just T.I.'s wife, okay? I'm more than just, you know, this wife that got to sit around and watch her man just cheat on her. No, I look, I got something to offer too. Like, I'm a bad chick, okay? And she came to slay, okay? She looked good. She sounded good. Because when they open, they open with understanding. And when they, when the music started, I was like, because I know she was nervous. Not that I didn't think she could pull it off, but I've been watching her lives and all this and that. And I know she was nervous. Even if you watch their rehearsals, you never really got to see her sing. You saw everybody else singing in rehearsal, but not her. So I was like, ooh, you know, I hope her nerves don't get the best of her. She came out there and sang her little heart out. I was like, go, Tiny. And what I liked about it, she sounded good. She didn't try to oversing nobody. She just did what she came to do. And for that, Tiny, hats off to you. Now, Candy, 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 Candy. And I tell people a lot. Me wanting to be a journalist, I tell everybody, it's a lot of people that I want to interview, but it's not a lot of people in the industry that I really want to kind of like hang out with, and you are one of them, because I just think that you humble and you real, but uh, we need to talk. Honey, I don't know if the, your nerves got the best of you. I don't know whether it's your earpiece, because I saw you doing a little bit of this. And I know how the sound or you not being able to hear yourself can alter how you perform. But, baby, I see. Now, here's the crazy thing, y'all. I've been watching their rehearsals, and Candy didn't sound like that. Now, Candy go always be Candy with her raspy voice, but... That's okay, because if people who know Escape know that's what she's known for. She's that alto. She is that person that when they do their harmony, she's always their low, and she kills it every time. And so I was watching the rehearsals, and she was, you know, she was giving me vocals. I was happy. I was like, okay, okay. And I did see on one of her Insta snaps that she was going to end those and throw doctors. So I think there is a little bit, not major concern, but I think there's a little bit of concern with her vocal cords because she did say she was going there to check on her vocal cords. They had to stick some down her throat. Okay. But again, even in the van, because it's a um, video on YouTube where they're on the way to sound check at a day of rehearsal and they're singing. Living in vain. And when I tell you all four of them, they harmonies was off the chain. So, I had my hopes up. I ain't gonna lie. I had my hopes up. I was root for Candy. Now, I'm gonna be honest. When she did understand it, she was a little loud. But she didn't do too bad. Now, when she got to just kicking, Candy, babe, babe. 
You sounded all out of breath. I don't know what went on. I mean, I, I don't know. It's almost like Ursula from the Little Mermaid stole your voice and has it locked away in a locket or something because I'm like, what happened? Because you were singing. When I tell y'all, she was singing even up to her, on the way to sound check. So I don't know what happened. Like I said, there were a couple of technical difficulties. I did see her doing this with her earpiece. And then uh, the guy that was rapped that was before with Mary J. Blige, his mic was going in and out. Tasha Scott, her mic was too loud. She was over everybody so maybe that's what it was maybe it was her nerves and it was just too much going out but candy i'm rooting for you girl i'm pulling for you okay tasha and tamika y'all y'all did good y'all really did good it's just that y'all don't need to try to out sing each other this is my problem with the actual performance. Overall, I thought it was really good for a group that has not performed in almost 20 years. They all did good. And I don't care, even with my thing with Candy and her voice yesterday, it wouldn't be the same without her and without that voice. I'm being honest. If they came with just three of them, we'll be feeling some type of way. So let's just keep that in mind. We just need her to get it together. But overall, I thought they did really well. I just got some concerns with just looking at the bigger picture. Now, I saw a lot of over singing. And I didn't like that because it's like Tasha and Tamika. We know y'all can sing. We heard it last night. But y'all took away from the performance because y'all just... See, like, y'all got happy and just start out singing. You know, it was just like, y'all just started doing all these runs throughout the song, which we didn't need. And then, y'all was too busy doing the runs that y'all was missing a couple of notes. And it's kind of like, wait a minute, remember that y'all are a group. So you don't have to out-sing each other. Y'all just need to bring what y'all bring. And just sing the song. Like Ike Turner said. To sing the song at the bay. Okay. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Like they started getting happy. And just started out singing each other. I'm like y'all take away from the performance. Yeah y'all vocals are definitely still there. But don't take away from the performance. But again I'm saying all this to say. That they were still better than. What I seen early in the in the show. So that's why I'm not going for all this. And you know, a lot of people, I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be honest. From what I'm hearing about Escape, 70% loved it. 15%, they were like, it was okay. And the other 15 was dragging the hell out of candy, which, look, I, it would be the same without Candy. And like I said, I seen the rehearsals. She didn't sound like that. So I don't know what's technical difficulties. I don't know what's going on. I know that out of all the girls, she gets the less sleep. So that can affect your voice. I mean, she's like she said, she's doing two reality shows. She's going up to the old lady gang, you know, trying to check on her restaurant. She got a lot going on. So Candy... I just want you to know that I know you're trying to secure the bag with this endeavor with Escape. But to secure the bag, you got to be able to bring it, okay? Bring it like you did in those rehearsals that I sang. That's all. And Tasha, Tamika, just do what you do so well. You don't got to prove to nobody that y'all can sing. So stop with all the over singing. Tiny, girl, yes. You did what you came to do. You sang your song. You looked good doing it. And you was out. And another thing about Escape. And I know you're like, wow, she just spent like almost 10 minutes on Escape. This is why. Because after that, I seen their little press conference. They went to do press. And everybody was just talking about how they glad to see them back. How Great of a performance they did. Because the audience was into it though. Regardless. The audience was really into it. Like I said. It's not like I'm saying they did bad. 
I'm just saying they could have did better. It was just a couple things that, as a fan, I was like, okay. I still can't wait to see them in Detroit. You know, when they come here on the third, I will be posting videos. So check me out on Instagram. But anyway, so I watched their little press conference that they did. And the first thing everybody was saying was they did a great job. And where's the album? And Candy does not want to do an album. Candy, I think, wants to just do this to just secure the bag in the, in the instance of we do shows, we'll do, you know, award shows together and all that. But I don't want to be involved with the, a real full-fledged reunion where we in the studio and all that. I don't think she really want to be bothered like that. And it's not like how do I say this? It's not like I don't think she doesn't like the Scott sisters. I think there's still a couple of underlying issues that they just need to figure out. And you can just tell. Like, for instance, that she don't want to do an album or a single right now. And they all for it. They're happy. Like I said, you can tell they was on that stage and they was ready just to show y'all what they had. Okay? Like, they ready. They ready for Escape to be back full-fledged. Okay? And Tiny, my girl Tiny is like, whatever. I can ride this escape thing till the wheels fall off, you know. I done, I done warmed up my singing chops. I'm a team player. Whatever y'all need me to do. But if, hey, if we don't do this, hey, I can go back to my husband and manage Jonique's career or shoot. Maybe do a couple of songs myself. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. That's the vibe I'm getting from Tiny. So, you got Tiny who's like... You know, the middle man, you know. Then you got Candy over here who just want to secure the quick bag. Like I said, doing shows and being guest performances, guest performers or award shows and stuff like that. And then doing a biopic and a reality show. Something that's like temporary. Not something that, oh, we put out music. Then we got to promote it. Then we got to go on tour and all that. She doesn't want to do that. I, I, that a lot has to do with her busy schedule. And them just still trying to figure out their issues. So I just pray they get it together. Again, I'm excited to see them on July 3rd. Okay. So moving on past them. Then we have my boy Maxwell, who always brings it vocally. I love me some Maxwell. And then my boy Elder Varch. He came out there paying tribute. <sighs> he did it. I, 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 I just, I love real singing. So he did his thing. And then we had, you know, the new edition tribute, which was amazing. I liked how this year, and so I like how this year, like with the new edition tribute, what they did was they actually had, you know, the little kids from the movie perform to pay tribute to them. And then like Luke James and all them come out and pay tribute. And then they came up, accepted their war, all, all six members of new edition. And then they came out and they sang and then they did what they do. Even Bobby, look. Bobby is kind of like how I feel about Candy. Like, Bobby, he gives you struggle vocals now, okay? Okay? But, it, do not, it is not the same without all six members. So, anyway, so they did their thing. And at the last song, or is it, is it, or is it, is it love? They all came out. The entire cat, I mean, you know, the young people who played New Edition, the older people who played New Edition, and then actual New Edition. They all did the choreography. It was freaking hot, man. It was hot. New Edition never disappoints. Never, ever disappoints. Um, and, of course, we had Best Female Rapper of the Year, and that went to my girl, Remy Ma. And when I tell y'all, she is the queen of petty. She came out there saying, are you dumb? Are you dumb? I'm like, Remy, <laughs> you is a mess. 
but she did. Uh, I'm proud of her. She's had an amazing year this year, and she is definitely the quintessential of, you know, you can go to jail, come out, and rebuild your life and start over and make changes, positive changes, you know? So happy about that. And, y'all, that's all I got. That's just how I felt about the wars. Let me know how y'all felt. Till next time, y'all. Peace and love.